From the first moment that I watched a boxing fight, it made sense to me. Being that young, it was like a puzzle that I was just able to solve. When they see her come in with her cape and say, oh, this girl's badass, you gotta watch, she's super bad. This girl has a good left hook, a good right hook, right hand. She can switch left-handed to right-handed. She can go to the body, she can box you. She has a great jab. The versatility in boxing is just bam. From the first time I saw her spar, I never questioned her again. Nine years old here, and um, with her Hello Kitty. With my Hello Kitty she's shirt. Famous for this. <laughs> we're all, all of them always have Hello Very Kitty nice. shirts. I was sparring against this girl, who was a lot bigger, obviously, and uh, a lot older. That was the way it always was: the bigger girl or the boy. Yeah, I was I always one. always sparring boys or just girls who are just much bigger and older than me. I don't know how I did it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> My dad trained when he was a kid, but didn't take boxing very seriously at the time. I didn't go pro or anything. I just took the wrong life. Came here in about, I guess, uh, 1963 from Tijuana, Mexico, straight into the Aliso Village projects in Boyle Heights, notorious for gangs. All that is where I went wrong. He uh, turned into other things like drugs and gangs and stuff like that. Boxing wasn't like a priority for him. Life takes one person one way and it takes the other one right. the opposite way. Right. Yeah. yeah, growing up in East LA, it's a tough place, you know? I think where you come from really determines and really helps you become who you are. It's a place that either will make you or break you. She always grew up tough, you know? And as a little girl, she was always really quiet, but you couldn't get her mad, you know what I mean? Because she will... Was she a trouble maker? Hell yeah. <laughs> We used to get a lot of calls from school. She beat this other little girl up, and then we kind of find out that that little girl was bullying other little kids, and she would step in. So the fights she used to have were against bullies every time. When I gave her that name, Superbad, I told her that I wanted to be like Superman, where he was a mild-mannered person, and then he went into the little phone booth, and he came out, and he started saving everybody. Like, oh, I kind of want you to have that persona where people are bored of boxing, and I want you to come and save them and say, oh, wow, a girl's doing this? She says to me, hey, Dad, do girls box? And I says, why, man? She says, well, well, can I box? I remember my dad didn't want me boxing, so it was probably like my first couple of weeks of training. He asked my trainer if he can put me in the ring to spar with the boy, hoping that the boy would beat me up and make me cry. But I'm thinking she's going to spar, she's going to get beat up, and then she's going to say, oh, this is not for me. Something I'll never forget. She just rushed him and started punching. Boom, 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 you know, I started banging up on him and... Making him cry, and he left and never came back again. So the plan kind of backfired on my dad. And I looked at her, go, how did you feel, baby? You liked it? She goes, yeah, I liked it. That reminds me of me, that look that she has, like just piercing little beady eyes. And from that moment on is when I said, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go, and uh, history. It was this instinct. You know, somebody threw something, she'd calm her back, whatever. Her eyes, she saw things like a cat real, real quick. It just made sense to me, and I just fell in love with it.
boxing bonded us together extremely. The bond that we have is like different, you know, she's always going to be my baby girl. You know, the struggles and then the success through it all together. We would travel across the nation just to have one fight. I traveled just about almost every state. I made sure that somehow I got my little girl there. Whatever he could do to make sure that I was the best. You know what I mean? Here we come. I didn't have any female fighters to look up to when I was a little girl. These days, I mean, there's plenty of girls, but back then there wasn't, so she pushed herself. Being a female, there's other things that I could have done. I wanted to do this 100%. She knew what she wanted to be and what she wanted to accomplish. I remember telling myself, this is what your destiny is. That's the dedication she had as an 11-year-old girl. People thought I was crazy. for wanting to pursue boxing and for not giving up. It just goes to show that like, nobody knows your vision the way you do. If you're born with a boxer's mentality, you gotta learn how to fight, that's hard. She was born a fighter, turned into a boxer. And I know that. So if everything's going wrong, we say, you know what, just fucking fight this girl. Just go after her, be an animal. And she'll say, okay, she's like a kamikaze. I can't be broken down mentally. That's like the most dangerous thing for any of my opponents. There's so many things that I've gone through that I've seen, so stepping into the ring is no big deal for me. Super bad. She's a beast, man. <laughs> I don't care if you're her friend and you step in the ring or you're her teammate, it does not matter. If you're the opponent, you're the opponent, and that's it. And she's in there to destroy you, period. I go, you don't want to be the fighter that comes down and they go, oh, it's that girl, I'm gonna go get a beer and a hot dog. You want them to say, you gotta see this girl. And that's what's happening now. She's got gifted, man. This girl is talented. She has natural ability. I put that pressure on myself. Anybody who doubts women's boxing, anybody who doubts females in any sport can watch me fight and say, okay, I'm not a doubter anymore. You know what I mean? you say, hey, things happen. Well, now I know why it happened. God has a plan and we're taking it all the way. Just getting started. Never give up.